Friends, um, this video is about how to jump in order to help somebody to do base to base and support him uh, without failing. Okay, so this is a, a capture footage that I'm going to do the voiceover that will help you understand what to do and how to do. Okay, so I'm going to play the video. So basically, what I want to do is I want to relocate. I'm going to the site in question, the location, and I want to test if my base will fit. Okay, clearly this is not good. This seems like a perfect spot. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. This is a perfect spot because when you do base to base, your base must be literally touching the enemy's base. Okay, if you're too far away, it won't work. It may work, but you will end up losing a lot of reserves for nothing. So a proper base to base is you have to touch the other guy's base. So I'm gonna wait till he clears that bunker or I make sure that I'm, I can land uh, safely. So I'm testing another spot. This could be also a good spot, but this one is obviously better. So the trick is you do a test spot, okay? You do a test spot and then you make sure you're uh, You're centered in the map, so this trick works. So I did a mistake here. I go to tag again. I press on the airlift button. Then if I'm properly centered, I should be dropping right where I want. I deploy my base. There you go. So this way, the enemy, even if he sees me uh, landing, he, do, he don't have time to uh, interfere or block me. This is very useful because if you get blocked, uh, your jump will be a failure. You won't be able to help your friend and you will waste that jump or you may end up being destroyed. So I deploy my base. Awesome. I want to take care of this. Hold on, I'm going to put some, some arrows. So I want to take care of this super heavy. Now, the trick is, when you do base to base, even though this enemy is it's much weaker than my base, the trick is, is to be efficient. You don't want to underestimate your enemy, so you still want to fight smart being waste the least amount of reserves possible okay uh, don't take any risk you're right next to his base you have the advantage of garrison as soon as the enemy wants to engage your troops so that's the trick to lose the least amount of reserve Just fight smart so i'm going to position myself So here, this guy wants to attack my artillery. I fire back. And what's better to back up an artillery? Another artillery, another howitzer. So I'm going to engage this super heavy with my howitzer. So I may not have done a lot of damage, but at least um i want to show him that i'm ready for him so right away as soon as i lose one unit i train it back right away okay you want to stay in the fight make sure that you have all your full troops to be effective because if your base if you if, if let's say you take some risk you think you want to burn this guy's base uh in one shot if you end up getting burned, now your base is empty. If your base is empty, then you're defenseless, defenseless, sorry, and uh, you will end up burning you. So what I did here is 
I want to make sure. Okay, I want to make sure I have a proper um, uh, squad. So usually what I do is I team two artilleries together. This one, I, I leave it alone and I don't pair any tanks. So I'm going to position. The reason why I position these two artilleries together right away is I know those won't have to travel and reach the enemy's base. Okay, so if he fires back at me, I can garrison them instantly and lose very few troops. So I'm going to position these guys. You see 65 million power. I'm 105, obviously I'm stronger, but still, let's not take any risk. So I'm going to initiate the attack with my heavy. These artilleries are going to shoot. My third artillery. So you see, whoops, I'm going to pause. Go back. There. So right away, you see, when you see the red line, it means I'm being engaged. I don't leave those there. I garrison them. Then the base by default is going to engage these. I garrison and these I garrison as well. So now the attack is a failure. I'm going to garrison everything and I go back again. Now I'm going to use all my howitzer together to do maximum damage. Now, oops, sorry. Go back. You see though, this one is getting engaged. So I'm going to garrison it, this one as well, and this one as well. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to train. So I already did a bit of damage here. He's going to try to put pressure on my friend. This guy knows how to defend himself, so this is not a problem, you see. So I'm still not ready yet. I only have 10 heavies. So right now this guy is doing a good job defending. He's gonna have a go. I'm gonna assist him and then I'm gonna leash. So right away, you see this artillery was not properly positioned. So I'm gonna garrison it back because if this one gets engaged, if this base return fire to this unit, he won't have time to garrison in. Uh, he won't have. He won't garrison in time uh, to. Uh, so he, he will take. I will take a lot of loss. So this is not ideal. I'm gonna garrison this troop right away. I'm gonna use those two artillery. So we're doing some good damage. So he's gonna try to attack me. No, change his mind. So right now he's getting a lot of pressure. My tanks are getting engaged. No problem. I'm gonna garrison this one. I'm gonna save them. Okay. I. So now I'm gonna reset. I'm trained immediately. So this base is almost done. So right now I have some con uh, collection trucks I can deploy. Why do I deploy them? It's when a mine is busy, the enemy cannot base there. So that's another trick to make sure that you you don't want to uh, you don't want interference. I'm, I'm gonna block those region. This is another trick I do. So I, I put my strongest artillery right there within reach of this bunker. I'm going to activate this bunker. When my tank is getting attacked, the artillery is going to shoot back. Why do I do this? Really easy. This artillery will be pre-charged. Okay. So when this artillery gets pre-charged, as soon as he wants to fire back at me or try to attack me, this artillery will fire back instantly. 
Okay. Now the base is white, so he's not activated. I'm safe. I'm gonna position our artillery, pair it together. I'm gonna initiate the attack. I'm gonna only fire with these. You see, this artillery fires back right away. Boom. So now the base is active. I have to be careful. I'm gonna initiate another attack because I didn't lose any troops. I'm gonna redo this procedure again. Train. So I'm gonna try to attack his super heavy. Now I'm not being careful. My artillery is within uh, range of his base defense. Okay. So he's gonna attack my artillery. My artillery will fire back. Then his base will engage my artillery. I lost a few units. No big deal, it's a small mistake. So I'm gonna wait till I, I train. Now, okay. So this guy thinks uh, he may have a chance to burn my friend. So he's gonna unleash all his troops and attempt uh, a last resort attack. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also uh, attack him while he's busy. Very hard to do two things at once. So I'm going to target with my plane, this artillery right there. Okay. And I'm going to use my medium to attack this artillery right there. And what this guy will do, he will attack this artillery right there. Let's see how it goes. So my medium. So my mediums are doing a good job. His artillery is also attacking this one, this unit. So right now, he doesn't have any artillery. He got a squad 60% um, uh, gone of super heavy, so he cannot siege anyone. All he got left is uh, some light tanks. Now he realized this is a bad idea. He's gonna garrison back. This super heavy is almost gone. So you see right there, he's not come back effective. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, return fire. Now, even if his base engaged my artillery, he doesn't have any firepower to do any significant damage. Boom, we burned this guy. Thumbs up. Ah, the boy. So I'm gonna garrison all my troops. I'm gonna retrain. Then we're gonna take care of this guy right there. So he he's smart. So this guy he knows. Sorry. So this guy he knows that I wanna help burning this uh, this enemy. So he's gonna make space for me to base right next to him. When I deploy my base. Okay, when I deploy my base, you didn't see, I'm going to rewind, there we go. Not deploy, but when I want to pack my base and move. I want to make sure that um, I, can, I can protect myself, I can defend myself on the move while my, my base is in shock mode. So I'm going to pair these two tanks together and I'm going to link these three artilleries together. So this way I have a better control of backing up my artilleries with tanks both at the same time. Okay, this is very important because it could be an opportunity for this guy to try to uh, burn a few of my troops while I'm on the move. So I pair these together, same thing with the artillery. I relocate. So I'm gonna try to support. Okay, he's fine. 
so I can base right there. So now it's three against one. Okay, pause. So Martha, Ma, Mara Howitzer was already uh, out of my base, not fully uh, trained yet. S uh, 18 units out of 25. He tried, he tried to attack my artillery with his artillery. So it didn't go well. He preferred to back up. I'm going to replay this sequence. So there you go. Marathon is right there. You want to engage me. You prefer to back up. This was a mistake. Well, it's not really a mistake, but now this artillery is pre-charged. Okay. Even though it's not fully charged, it is in the background it's charged already. So if he tried to attack me, this one will fire back right away. So he have to be careful what he's gonna do about this guy. So you see, he tried to engage, I fire back at him. It, it, it happens so quick, okay? You don't see the, the shell, but he starts from a full squad. Boom, there you go. You see how quick it, it... You see how quick he got burned? So this is a trick. I'm gonna retrain. I position my howitzer. So now I can take a little bit more risk because we're three against one and he won't be able to manage all these, all this aggression at the same time. So we're going to put a lot of pressure on this guy. So he initiate the attack. I, I start firing and I'm only, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use only this howitzer and I'm ready to garrison because if he try to attack me, I'll be ready to protect him. So he's tried to fire back at my friend. I'm gonna use my medium tank. I'm gonna press auto attack here. Therefore, if he try another go, he's gonna get countered right away. Boom. You see the tank fires back. He lost a few troops, that's okay. I couldn't, ba I couldn't garrison in time because I was busy there, but basically, I only lost a few units. So this is textbook uh, base to base. Mind you, it, uh, it was, um, yes, they were weaker enemy. But like I said in the beginning of the video, when you do base to base and you're the dominant base, so um, you, you have more power than uh, than your target, you have to uh, you have to think that your target will be in defense mode. He will try to kill as much units as possible, and you have to be quick and protect your units. Remember that in the battle, you know when the battle start, but you never know when it's gonna finish. So in that case, there were no reinforcement. So we, we, we clear them uh, efficiently. But if there were more base, you have to make sure that you're not wasting your units. You're protecting your units um, so you can stay longer in the fight. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, if you have any question, let me know. Put some comments and uh, have a good day, friends.